The company was founded in 1946 by my grandfather. We have the fourth generation on board now. More engineers, more business people, making a difference in infrastructure and the environment. The main focus of the plant here is to recycle and reuse unsuitable materials from our industry. There's a, there's a big need to clean up the, the island. Normally the material would go out of state to landfills or different facilities. This gives uh, Long Island a, a place to take its material and clean it up and reuse it. Our history with soil washing goes back over 15 years. We had designed a plant, we call it the Frankenstein plant, because uh, we took a piece of equipment from here, a piece of equipment from there, and we kind of put it all together. And then a few years later, we noticed a CDE's plant out of Con Expo. And said, this looks just like the Frankenstein plant, except these guys know what they're doing. When I visited CDE, I could see that from the design floor to the people that were testing the equipment to the people that were in charge. I knew I picked the right company to work with. We spent about a year and a half on design. We have various laws and requirements that we have to meet here. And CD was absolutely willing to help in making any adjustments we needed to the plant to satisfy our regulatory requirements. The installation was very simple since everything is assembled in the shop beforehand and most of the pieces are modular so it, it made the install go quickly and efficiently. This is really a one-of-a-kind operation that can take so many different varieties of soil and run it through the same plant. Normally you'd see most wash plants are doing washing sand, producing one or two things. They're producing five different materials. So everything from aggregate to go into concrete, concrete sand, masonry sand, oversized, all of that helping to reduce their footprint on the island. We can now feed ourselves with not only contaminated material, but our unsuitable fill from job sites that's left over, our excavation waste, our drilling spoils. You name it, the CDE plant can process it. With this wash plant, we are able to recycle and reuse up 90% of the material. This is the largest soil wash plant in the world that cleans contaminated soils. Not only is it the largest, but it's the most sophisticated plant. Nobody's doing anything like this on Long Island or in the U.S. that I know of. We know the sites we were there when they were installed. We helped commission them and we'll help maintain them throughout the life of the plant. The project ends, that's where custom care comes in. So what we do is we maintain that relationship with the customer through parts, through service, through technical advice and just overall operation of the plant. One of the challenges you have with Basilico is the material coming in is constantly changing, so it's never a steady feed material, so you're always making adjustments to the plant to make sure you get the requirements that you need. With population expanding, our infrastructure is getting old, the emphasis has to be on rebuilding and um, investing in our infrastructure. With that, there's going to be a ton of material that needs to be processed, and it needs to be processed responsibly and efficiently and the way to do that is to recycle it through a plant like ours and we need to start thinking about recycling material and soil the same way that everybody thinks about recycling bottles and cans everything they do here is helping the environment and you can see the dedication when you deal with the guys day to day we'd like to scale this type of a plant uh, in different uh, different parts of our region what we have here, uh, I think, is you know the beginning of something really important. Both Pacilico and CDE share a very similar commitment to innovation. Neither company is afraid to take a leap. Neither company is afraid to push the boundaries of what's possible. And this wash plant is just another example of that commitment to innovation and doing things the right way.